scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place, take your place, take your place, take your place. All is faith, holy ghost, holy ghost, holy ghost. You are the Holy Ghost. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, and my spirit. Breathe on me. Take your place. 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 Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe on me. How I desire your presence I desire your presence 
My soul and my spirit breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, and my spirit breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, and my spirit breathe on me. Take my body, my soul. Take my body, my life. Lord, we desire you more than life itself. Take my body, my soul, and my spirit. Breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, and my spirit. Breathe on me. Breathe on me. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. Hallelujah. See, listen, let me tell you. There is nothing you are truly looking for that you will ever find if the Holy Spirit does not lead you there. Are you hearing me? There is nothing, I don't care what it is. There is nothing you are truly looking for. Success, prosperity, husband, wife, job. You will never find it if you disregard the Holy Spirit. Let me tell you in advance, you will never ever find it until the Holy Spirit leads you there. 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please be seated. You will never find it if it does not lead you there. You can pretend you have found it. You will never find joy. You will never find fulfillment. All of these things people chase after. No. You will never find it disregarding the Holy Spirit. He has become my all. He has become my all. He will turn an ordinary person. See, let me tell you something. Listen. This chase for recognition, this chase for fame, this chase for greatness will keep ending people in utter frustration until the Holy Spirit leads you there. Please take what I'm saying seriously. I'm yet to see one man that truly found life and all it can give with the true joy and satisfaction without the Holy Spirit. It's not true. It's not true. I, I need you to understand that I'm, these things are not just done as a religious jamboree. Some of us have never paid attention to the things of the Spirit. We think if I just come, it's possible to be here right now and your heart is not even with God. You are just here and then you will find out that you will never get that blessing. Are you not tired of trying to find fulfillment outside of him? Why don't you settle down? Come. Be on his side. And see what you will make out of your life. Be magnified. Oh Lord. You are highly exalted. And there is nothing you can't do. Oh Lord, my eyes are on you. Be magnified. Oh Lord, be magnified. See, we said this thing years ago. And many people thought we were just talkatives and jokers. Are you hearing what I'm saying? This thing, I have been saying this thing for years. But when you don't pay attention to the things of God, your suffering has just begun. Because there are many people after 20 years, 30 years, 40 years of a meaningless life of utter frustration. They find out that everything they have put their confidence on has failed one by one the dangerous thing about that kind of failure is it all does not happen in one day it will keep happening again after one cycle finishes another cycle of failure will start but the way of the lord is the way of wisdom choose that way now I choose the way of the Lord. For the way, for the way of the Lord is the way of peace. I choose the way of the Lord. His presence can guarantee you anything in life. When you honor God's presence, for you, success is an issue of when, not if. It no longer becomes magic. Hallelujah. I'm teaching tonight a very powerful topic. And I like your heart to be open. Luke 14. Jima katabalana makatana. Luke 14. Hallelujah. 
Say after me, my Christianity must produce an evidence. Say it, my Christianity must produce results. Say it like you believe it, my Christianity must produce results. I forbid you from this resultless Christianity that frustrates you and frustrates those around you. When there is an evidence in your life that God is real and that the truths in his word are real, let me tell you the truth. You will compel men to come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ and you will turn many to righteousness. Hallelujah. It's got to be more, got to be more. It's got to be more than this. For desperate people do desperate things. We press in need. It's got to be more, got to be more. Help me say, it's got to be more than this. Hallelujah. I can never be a failure in life. Never, never, never have left that circle forever till Jesus comes. I told you last week, understanding, everybody say understanding. When you have, he said, in all thy getting, get understanding. Come, Mike. Come, climb these stairs. No, just stay down, climb up climb up did you need to think to climb this because you know how to do it go back and do it again this is we call predictability your life can be that accurate and that circumspect that you know that you know that you know that you know that you have come out of certain realms forever your life can be that predictable that you can become a success. So for you, it's a matter of when, not if. There are some of us, success is still at the realm of if. Because we are still hoping that one day, bless you, God will see what I'm doing. And then maybe he will just bless me. Let me tell you in advance. You don't need to wait till after 10 years. Let me tell you now. You are wasting your time. It will not work that way. There are keys. He said, and I will give you the keys of the kingdom. He said, by reason of that keys, whatever you bind in the earth will be bound in the heavens. Whatever you lose. Until you have these keys, you cannot command authority in this realm. Many of us have been listening, but we have not been paying attention. Today is an opportunity again. Why don't you tell yourself, look, I want to settle down. Let me understand this thing once and for all. Hallelujah. I'm preaching tonight on extraordinary accomplishments. The cost. Extraordinary accomplishments. Colon. The cost. What does it take to be a sign and a wonder? What does it take to be a living wonder? What does it take to function in this earth realm as if you are not a normal human being? What does it take to ride towards the things that force men to bow to? We have been, throughout last month, we were taking a series on success. And I thought we had rounded up until I was praying. And the Lord told me, no, there's one more extraordinary accomplishments the cost tonight i want to open you up to the cost dimension of accomplishments in life the cost dimension hallelujah this word cost and price these are two words that many believers hate we hate that word the moment you say cost 
or price people just resent it and they get angry but when you say gift or reward people say aha this is what i want but the moment you say cost we hate opening up ourselves to the cost implication of life unfortunately let me tell you the truth get it straight and get it this night i don't care who preaches what for you don't mislead yourself you will never never enter the realm of true greatness and extraordinary accomplishments if you deny the fact that there is a price and there is a cost so the first thing i want you to know this night is that extraordinary accomplishment is very costly it's very costly it's not just costly it's very costly number two ignorance and failure is also very costly so whether you embrace the life that will bring supernatural accomplishments or not you are going to pay the price in this life period hallelujah outstanding success had a, a huge price tag it's very costly failure also has a price tag it is also costly the difference is this for accomplishment and success you pay the price before it comes for failure you pay the price after it comes you get that but you are going to pay the price in any way so you can choose to pay it now you don't need to say i claim success no you don't need to claim it if you pay the price now that is your act of faith to show that you have chosen you don't just choose by saying i choose alone he said if you call yourself the sons of abraham you would do what abraham did hallelujah people hate the word cost they hate the word price and so many people especially preachers have tried to create nice messages to explain away the fact that there is a cost implication to supernatural accomplishment let me tell you something go and ask any man whether in the secular world or in the christendom who has risen to and made any level of supernatural accomplishment of whatever sort ask them and they will tell you there is a price to pay hallelujah the one time wealthiest man in america was asked a question he said what is the secret of success and he laughed he said secret number one know what the price is number two pay the price period know what it is pay the price and tonight i pray for you that the fear of paying the price for a supernatural life let that fear leave you because let me tell you something you are afraid of what must come so it's better to develop courage and face it once and for all remember we preach the message give me this mountain in every mountain there are giants if you find a mountain that there are no giants run away every mountain there are giants life is full of men who paid several prices defied certain things and today the world is celebrating them and if you must do much for god there is a price to pay don't let anybody fool you there is a price to pay hallelujah and tonight we will look at the cost factor the cost implication hallelujah if we do not want to end up like many people that we have seen or many believers frustrated humiliated then it's important to pay the price right now i will always quote this scripture lamentations 3 27 he said it is good that a man bear his yoke in his youth now that you have strength why don't you make up your mind to flog it out with destiny 
so that you can enter the sabbath and rest once and for all the bible says and on the seventh day god rested i've said it again and again if you have not entered your seventh day and you are resting let me tell you life will kick you out of that rest in a painful way you only rest when you have entered your seventh day some from day one they are already seeking rest we live in a generation of comfort we like comfort hallelujah a lot of people like com we love comfort we hate inconvenience no no don't keep me standing for 10 minutes uh -uh, i can't take it ah the sun is too hot go and buy umbrella for me we 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 are addicted to comfort to a to a a degree that it is robbing us of paying the price for a glorious destiny hallelujah someone starts a business the first profit that comes is buying jeans and shoe and buying one one rickety car that you keep maintaining it for the next how many years until everything eats up his money but to pay the price and say oh let me just wait let me endure no i want to prove a point i want to prove a point comfort comfort has destroyed a lot of people comfort is good but you see let me tell you something when it gets to a point where it stops you from paying the price then you are you are eating your future in your today and this is the case with a lot of people hallelujah this is what has birthed this false and fake life that people live they try to pretend realms of success they have not yet come into and so they put themselves under unnecessary pressure hallelujah it's very important say after me i will pay the price please say it i will pay the price look at me don't you think this message is not important this night because i am going to be attacking some ugly religious spirits that always think that when you are teaching about success and accomplishment they think it's not spiritual enough i thought we just came and we should be praying or i thought we should come and do this sooner or later your lack of paying attention will punish you to a point that you will backslide spiritually without knowing hallelujah when you become a father and you know that you cannot be praying from morning till night you have the fees of children to pay is that true you have responsibilities at that point you will know that one key does not open every door in the spirit it takes keys and opening up yourself to them may your children never look at you and say daddy what is what is the benefit of all of this christianity may people not look at you in the village and say you are you are an unbeliever i am a christian what is the difference see let me tell you something the kingdom of god is a reward system are you following me now the kingdom of god operates on a reward system so you are rewarded for complying with kingdom principles i made up my mind years ago that i was going to end some things in my life forever and I knew that to do that, comfort will be out of the way. And this is my first encouragement for you this night. Take this unnecessary spirit of luxury and comfort. It's not bad. Pack it up and keep it. A day will come when you will be comfortable indeed. Not now. The Bible says the vision will speak at the end no vision speaks at the beginning he says it in the end it will speak hallelujah another deceitful approach to success is waiting for god to do everything have you seen people like that 
I know God will do it. I know my God will do it. Are you not the king of the heavens? You can do anything you want to do. You can bless whoever you want to bless. You can curse whoever you want to curse. Let me tell you straight to the point. If that is your philosophy, then your suffering has not yet begun. The Bible says the heaven of heavens belong to the Lord. He said, but the earth has he given to the sons of men. If you do not take charge of your destiny, you may be very surprised. Hallelujah. I'm going to be talking about three aspects. Three levels of the cost. Number one, we'll quickly look at the spiritual cost. The first cost is the spiritual cost. You want to live a life of extraordinary supernatural accomplishments. No matter who you are, the first price to pay is your spiritual life. The spiritual cost. Hallelujah. There are many of you right now. If I ask you, what are you doing towards your success? You say, I'm trying to look for money. I'm looking for capital. May God just bless me. Let me just get money and see what I will do. Or somebody is running somewhere and say, I'm just trying to look for a job. I'm trying to look for this. And we pay very little attention, if at all, for some of us, our spiritual lives. We wake up in the morning, 5 30 stand at, 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 at the junction outside and you see everybody waking up in the morning hurrying running from morning until night ask them what they are looking for they tell you i want to move forward i want to make progress i want to make meaning out of my life but the bible says except the lord builds the house he said the word there is not except the lord build it for you except the lord becomes the architect of the house it says they labor in vain and except the Lord watches over a city, he said the watchman watched in vain. He said it is vain to wake up in the morning and to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow, but he gave it to his beloved sleep. Hallelujah. Let's look at the scripture quickly. Second Chronicles 26. Second Chronicles 26. Second Chronicles 26. If you are there, say Amen. Verse 5. Are you there? Verse 5. It says, this is speaking about the king Uzziah. Listen please. He said, and he sought God in the days of Zechariah who had understanding in the visions of God and he said oh I thought it was projected he said as, and as long as he sought God what happened God made him prosper is that in your Bible as long as he sought God what happened so his prosperity his accomplishments in life were directly tied to his passion genuine passion for God Many of us do not have a passion for God. We only love God because we have been told that he is mighty. And if you come close to him, maybe he will drive demons away from your life. And then success will come quickly. If you want to be blessed and to do much for God in this kingdom, the first requirement is your spiritual life. Uzziah. He sought God. He says, as long as he sought God, God made him to prosper. Let's read on. And he went forth and warred against the Philistines and broke down the wall of God. Look at his accomplishments. Look at the mighty things that he did because God was with him. And the wall of Ashdod and built cities about Ashdod and among the Philistines. Verse 7. And God helped him. Did you see that now? God did what? God helped him against the Philistines and against the Arabians who dwelled in Gubal and in Milnim. And the Ammonites gave gifts to Uzziah. Look at all the things that happened in his life because he sought God. Let's read on. And his name 
spread abroad this is the fame many people are looking for and his name why he sought god he sought the health of his spiritual life first he was not just seeking fame and power in the bible everyone who truly sought god made a mark in this life listen to me the first cost is your spiritual life let's finish up for he strengthened himself exceedingly nine moreover uzziah built towers in jerusalem look at this accomplishment at the corner gate and at the valley gate and at the turning of the wall and fortified them also he built towers in the desert in the desert he built towers in the desert do you know how the desert sand is the desert sand is not solid whatever you build if you are not careful but he said he built towers in a desert extraordinary accomplishment because he sought God hallelujah and he dig many wells for he had much cattle both in Shephela and in the plains husband men also and vine dressers in the mountains and so on and so forth read verse 11 he said moreover Uzziah had a host of fighting men who is this strange man that was just breaking records smashing records again and again defying the things that had been done in his days the bible tells us his secret he said he sought god he sought god look at this kind of exploits this is our year of supernatural exploits it doesn't just happen by magic let's finish up we'll read to verse 15 who went out to war by bands according to the numbers of their reckonings by the hand of jael the scribe hallelujah and then let's read verse um, 14 and uzziah prepared for them throughout all the host shields and spears and helmets and coats of mail and bows and slings to cast stones verse 15 and he made in jerusalem what engines the first person in the bible recorded to invent engines this guy broke through in several circles the bible says that he invented them invented by cunning men to be on the towers upon the bulwarks so that when they came to attack them they used engines to defend themselves extraordinary accomplishments because of the quality of his spiritual life he said to shoot arrows and great stones without listen he said and his name spread where notice the bible in the previous verse said his name spread abroad now see another dimension his name spread far abroad he said for he was marvelously helped the first time he was helped now he was marvelously helped until he was strong have you been paying attention have you been paying this spiritual price oh there is a spiritual price to pray for success and the beautiful thing is that at any point in your life you can start are you hearing what i'm saying so per adventure your spiritual life has not been an issue for you you just believe that somehow you can navigate yourself through life let me tell you right now hear the voice of the lord he said i wish above all things that ye prosper and be in health to the proportion to which your soul prospereth we have neglected the spiritual prosperity of the soul our intimacy and our relationship there are many things that can distract us looking for money looking for success wanting connection wanting to go here and there wanting to go abroad germany italy dubai everybody wants to go let me tell you something if you pay attention to your spiritual life first you will be helped the holy ghost is called a helper and the bible says uzziah was marvelously helped he enjoyed a rich dimension of the holy spirit let me tell you when god backs you you must succeed it doesn't matter what the odds are say i take my spiritual life seriously the spiritual cost 
under the spiritual cost the first price you need to pay is revelation and wisdom everybody say revelation you want to accomplish much spiritually in this kingdom we're talking about your spiritual cost now revelation and wisdom paul prayed to the church especially in uh, uh, the, the the church in 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 in, in ephesus Ephesians 1 from verse 17 down. He said, I pray to the God of our Lord Jesus Christ that he may grant unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. The heart of your understanding, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know. Revelation and wisdom. What is wisdom? Wisdom is the ability to take the truth of God's word and put it into practical application to deliver results for you anything you claim to know that is not useful in your life is not advancing the kingdom is not improving the quality of your life dump it it's a waste of time wisdom is not just the right application of knowledge it's the ability to take the truth of god's word and offer solution to life's problems and the bible says daniel 12 verse 3 it says and they that be wise shall shine like the firmament of the heavens daniel 12 he said and they that be wise shall do what shall shine as the brightness you want to be a star you want to rise above get wisdom get revelation understand how things work in the spirit when you understand the spiritual laws that are responsible for delivering certain results i promise you life will bow to you hallelujah are you listening to me so pay the price let your spiritual growth be constructive it's not just coming to church and learning all the nice spiritual languages go for revelation this is what we seek to teach not revelation of stories principles keys 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 i will give you the keys of the kingdom when you find the key to this door you can open it when you find the key to this door you will open it when you find the key to that door you will open it if you do not have the door you can pretend the door is open but sooner or later life will demand you to go outside and it will be evident that you do not have the key there are many people pretending to have found it rather than humbling themselves to say no look let's take this thing can i tell you something no matter how long find it he said the kingdom of god is like a man who is searching for a pearl when he found it he sold everything he had to buy that land When you pay the price to get revelation it will reward you please listen to me finance in the kingdom has spiritual laws health in the kingdom has spiritual laws victory over sickness and death and failure has spiritual laws success in life has spiritual laws favor has spiritual laws they don't just happen a good marriage is governed by spiritual laws hallelujah longevity in life is governed by spiritual laws how many of these laws do you know that is how you can measure the quality of your life i want to ask you a very practical question how many of these laws do you know hallelujah very important revelation 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 when you love the lord with all your heart he will open you up to revelations first corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 the bible says i has not seen nor ear heard neither has it entered the heart of any man what god has in store not for them that speak in tongues for them that love him when you love god he will open you up to secrets and brother when you find it you have found it forever when you truly love god a 
And for as long as he sought the Lord, God made him to prosper. Have you been seeking the Lord in your quest for accomplishment? Have you been paying? A, is God part of your success equation? I love the Lord with all my heart. The Bible says in 1 Kings 3 verse 3, it says, and Solomon loved the Lord. Solomon loved, that's what, that's, that was the basis of everything that he did. And Solomon loved the Lord. Do you really love the Lord? Enough to seek him with all your heart. To seek to know his ways. And how do you know those who love the Lord? It's very clear. John 14, 21. So don't just say, I love the Lord. We are going to see it now. John 14, 21. Hallelujah. It says, He that keepeth my commands, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my father. So who is the one that loves God? Please listen. Who is, it? Who is the one that loves God? It didn't say the one who claims, I love God, I love God, I love God. Uh -uh. If you truly love him, you will abide by his commands. He said, And he that loveth me shall be loved of my father, and I will love him, and I will do what? Manifest, reveal myself. God is not revealing himself to everybody. There are certain people that attract him with their passion for him. This is a big secret. Let's look at verse 23 of the same verse. Same chapter, sorry. Jesus answered and said, If a man love me, he will do what? He will do what? So have you been keeping his words? If you have not been keeping his words, you do not love him. Period. If a man love me, he will keep my words. And my father will love him. And we will come to him. Are you seeing there? And make our habitation, our abode. This is the secret of intimacy love for god the bible says the secret things of the lord are with them that fear him and he will show them his covenants many people let me tell you the truth many people want to serve god but they don't love the lord they respect god though they are christians they are not doing but that passion for god they don't have it and then they wonder why God seems to make himself real to other people. I've shown you the secret of intimacy. If you truly love the Lord, you will attract him by creating the atmosphere that brings his presence. Love for God. Hallelujah. Let me share with you under Revelation just three keys that will guide us we are still under the spiritual cost. And under that we are still under revelation. So love for God. I've told you love for God is one key to intimacy. The presence of God. You can have power without loving God. It's impossible to have the presence of God without loving him. No. Number two. Obedience. Obedience is very important. Everything in the kingdom is tied to obedience. Everything. Everything. Everything in the kingdom is tied to obedience. Just one scripture so that we put it under there. Deuteronomy 28 from verse 1. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord. To do and observe all that I commanded this day. He said this blessing shall come upon you and shall overtake you. Hallelujah. He said you shall be exalted above all nations. And this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you. Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. So obedience, obedience, obedience. Doing the word. Faith is not just saying what God has said. Faith is doing what God has said. So love, the key to the presence of God. The key to deep secrets in the spirit. Obedience, the key to committing God in anything you are doing. The Bible says you are only willing to judge all disobedience when your obedience is complete. He told Cain, Cain was angry because Abel's sacrifice was being received and his own was not being received. He told Cain, he said, if you do what your brother did, will your sacrifice not be accepted? So obedience. Anytime you want God to show up 
and to perform in your life make sure you obey his principles the last key that i'll talk about quickly under revelation is the law of tithing let me shock you very quickly tithing has nothing to do with money look at me tithing does not bring money the bible never tied tithing to money let me tell you what tithing does hallelujah sorry many people tithe because they want money wrong tithing as a principle and as a key in the kingdom has nothing to do with financial prosperity it is your giving that brings financial increase are you hearing me tithing opens the heavens see listen listen look at me there's no time we have to touch other aspects and i want us to pray please look at me the bible says god created many trees in the garden of eden is that true but god kept a tithe in that garden of eden I want to show you where titan started from so long as that tithe was not touched the heavens were open god could come in the cool of the day is that true please answer me titan is one of the spiritual laws that is responsible for open heavens so whatever you do under that open heavens will now prosper that's why titan does not just affect finance alone health longevity different aspects of our lives the reason why we preachers only reduce tithes to money is simply because we want the money period the day man touched the tithe what happened the heavens were closed and they sent him out of the garden of eden look at how important tithing is to god so long as man did not touch the tithe he could enjoy any other three he touched the tithe god sent him out so every many of us are operating under close heavens you are giving but under close heavens you are serving god but under close heavens let me tell you something i don't care whatever you do see the devourer is not a demon the devourer is a principality he operates on legal grounds principalities operate on legal grounds are you hearing what i'm saying that means you can you don't pray them away you don't pray them away there are kingdom principles that keep them at bay please understand this he said in my name they shall cast out what but he said they overcame them by it is in my name many of us have been praying trying to cast away principalities in our lives no it is your obedience of kingdom principles that keep them far that means if you are not a tighter even god cannot stop the devourer it will take only the blood to speak for you are you hearing me please in the series that are coming i will teach you about the mystery of the spirit the water and the blood because the bible says there are three that bear witness in heaven the father the word and the spirit he said these three are in agreement he said but in the earth realm there are three the three entities that can open any door in this realm the spirit the water that's the word of god and what the blood he said and these three agree anything they agree on that door must open hallelujah these are very deep spiritual principles there are many of you you have prayed and fasted about some things it didn't change that's to tell you that your spiritual approach may be wrong hallelujah let's continue tithing the heavens will open over you everybody say in the name of jesus I receive grace to be faithful i need my heavens open see when your heavens are open you will know you will know your heavens are open one time i was praying i think around chapel and the lord showed me a vision i looked up and i saw like two ancient gates they were closing and opening closing and opening i said lord what is the meaning of this and the lord told me this is the heavens opening and closing over people and this is the faithfulness of tithing please take this serious tithing does not bring money 
titan opens the heavens when the heavens are open anything done under that open heavens will succeed you see why some of you have been given you have been given to the poor you have been given to the needy things are not working because the heavens are closed the devourer just needs to look at your heavens and know whether he's permitted to come to your life or not this is a powerful key that many many ministries there are many ministries who love god great preachers but they are living under closed heavens so they don't know why members don't come have you seen people complain like that members come and go members do this and that i will train people and then they will leave let me tell you something check it if you are not careful the heavens are open the heavens are closed sorry when your heavens are open you will see extraordinary things that you know only god can do you can't negotiate this principle god is not a politician there's no back door no shortcut hallelujah so have you been faithful in tithing if you have not been faithful in tithing stop saying god is responsible for what you are in you have permitted the devourer there are many of us who are in business you don't tithe many of us god blesses us you don't tithe see if you do it out of force it's not by faith and whatever is not of faith is sin you just wasted your time it is a product of a revelation how can i eat the tithe of god here is my heart my mind make up your mind lord not touching your tight if you are faithful you will live in eden when you touch the tight you are sent out of eden when they sent man out of eden toiling and all kinds of things there are many of you truly it's not like god is not blessing you but it does not work the bible says and whatsoever he doeth Take this tithing thing serious. The number one key you need to teach people about open heavens is tithing. Don't think this is a gimmick by preachers. If you come and pay the tithe and the preacher eats the tithe, it's God that will punish him. But you do your part. Do not allow anybody's negligence to stop you. Tell am I sure it's not that usher that will carry my money. What is your business? make up your mind buy envelopes many of us are owing god you say god let me touch this five thousand please this is an emergency i must respond to it immediately and the devourer is saying go ahead please go ahead the moment you take it <laughs> you are just convinced that because you took communion or they made cross with oil on your head the devourer goes and you just fall down and stand up and say thank you jesus the devourer is waiting for you the moment you come out the oppression continues i'm telling you kingdom principles supernatural accomplishment starts with an open heavens he said you will see the heavens open the moment the heavens are open angelic activities begin in your life when jacob saw the heavens open what happened angels started ascending and descending and jesus told nathaniel he said you are you are shouting because you have just seen these things he said you will see greater things what are the greater things you will see the heavens open and the angels every time angelic activities are scarce in your life check your heavens may be closed hallelujah number two prayer so revelation one and then prayer prayer you must pray you must pray it's one of the greatest spiritual investment now i've had preachers even on tv talk against prayer and they say pray 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 you pray you don't pray all you just need is the word 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 <laughs> listen let me tell you the honest and sincere truth the bible says we will not leave the ministry of tables i mean the ministry of we will not concentrate on serving tables we'll focus on the ministry of the word and prayer hallelujah a prayerless christian is a powerless christian period whatever destroys your prayer life has killed your christian heritage it's a dangerous spiritual investment that you must make it will build your spirit you will build sensitivity the gifts of the spirit will find expression 
the anointing of the spirit will be at work in your life and the anointing itself is capital everybody say anointing is capital yes we only know naira and cobo and dollars and pounds to be capital anointing is big capital are you hearing me the anointing can open doors for you that nothing else will open anointing is great capital all men seek for thee that's what they told jesus why were they seeking for him because he had an anointing do you know that if you have an anointing the uncle you are trying to talk to that is neglecting you he needs something that the anointing upon your life can solve you concentrate and build that capital i have entered places today that if i was not anointed there is no way on earth at this level of life those doors would have opened impossible impossible hallelujah prayer let's look at the second cost spirit move over me spirit move over me intellectual cost everybody say intellectual cost say it intellectual cost so the first cost is your spiritual cost for supernatural accomplishment second cost is intellectual cost help us holy spirit isaiah 5 verse 13 everybody while you are opening i like you to shout knowledge is power not not that school a long high dogo say knowledge is power say it again knowledge is power hallelujah knowledge is truly power if you value knowledge and you value information you will do wonders in this earth realm please listen this is where i want everybody to give us our attention because i know for many of us the spiritual cost we are paying it very well but probably we are not paying the intellectual cost knowledge is power isaiah 5 verse 13 everyone read one to read therefore my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge and their honorable men are famished and their multitude dried up with test why knowledge everybody say knowledge say information what you do not know can destroy you ignorance is not an excuse in this realm in the world of champions you don't give room for ignorance many of us are spiritually serious but we are mentally lazy we are not willing to pay the price preachers hear me emoji wake up many preachers are intellectually lazy and they wonder why they are not commanding results hallelujah sustainable success is guaranteed by quality access to information your access to quality information about any area of life that you are trusting God to be an ambassador whether business whether your job there are many people who may never be promoted till Jesus comes because they are praying in tongues they are paying spiritual prices but they are neglecting their intellectual price look at me see honesty is good but that's not the only thing that is required in delivering results competence is key and competence is a product of intellectual prowess are you listening to me many nigerians have dreams and visions there are many books dream big have a great vision that's wonderful but just having a dream or a vision may never bring it to pass you must re you must get the knowledge and the information it takes to push that vision from being a dream until it starts walking on two legs everybody say intellectual cost ignorance is very costly i told you 
very very costly he said i daniel understood by books this book of the law the bible says this book not this chase magazine not this pointless novel this book many of us do not invest in building our intellectual capacity somebody comes and say god is calling me i'm going to be a public speaker i saw it in a vision i saw myself wearing suit like pastor femi you may die and never enter that revelation if you are not ready you think we are going to bring you to come and present a paper for us when you don't you've not read any book on public speaking you don't know anybody hallelujah you're not opening up yourself to learn from people who have gone ahead of you you will never arrive there this is what will frustrate you more many christians are frustrated because they cannot understand why although they are praying although they love god they see that they are lazy intellectually go to the house of many believers you don't find anything somebody is walking in his job he's never read any book to improve him does not understand anything about people's skills does not understand anything about leadership many pastors are governing churches all they know is how to pray in tongues and preach well they have no knowledge of corporate leadership they have no knowledge of corporate financing hallelujah principles of conflict resolution they do not know these things they don't care principles of church growth they don't care hallelujah praise the lord it's very important many of us do not pay the price to build ourselves intellectually you believe god is calling you to be a reality a tv show or a hostess or host or marriage and whatever and you sit down people ask you what do you know about marriage is the coming together of a man and a woman to be a husband and wife do you know listen listen see no matter how tongue talking you are are you hearing me if i want to employ people and i see that you are going your your intellectual deficiency is a disadvantage to my corporation do you think i will employ you please answer me so why are you angry with god there are many people who are not interested listen this is important they are not interested in building themselves they don't build capacity how many books do you have in the area you believe god is sending you to see let me tell you we live in a world where the basic knowledge you get from university is not enough are you hearing what i'm saying listen there must be an added advantage the difference between the five virgins who were wise was that they took extra oil there are many people who go into business they don't know anything about the business they just hear somebody went to dubai and went and brought containers you too you stand up carry everything you have home and abroad they go and throw you away from the airport say you are going to dubai they seize all of your goods now you come back god is not faithful i'm a titan no no everybody say intellectual prowess psalms 45 verse 4 can we look at it quickly we're going to pray psalm 45 verse 4 God is doing something in this place. He said, listen, and in thy majesty, write prosperously because of what? Truth. Information. Write prosperously because of the truth that you know. Write prosperously. Bishop Oedeko said something that touched me in a very powerful way. He said, most restaurants, you can go abroad and see certain restaurants and they tell you this restaurant is 50 years old is that true this restaurant is 70 years old the owner has died yet the restaurant is still on in nigeria somebody opens a restaurant after two two years he has fought with everybody in that community till they close the restaurant and the person is a christian everybody say after me your intellect your mind must be transformed for you to accomplish supernaturally i tell you i i feel the fire of god in this place i must burn this enough buy books buy books not trainers buy books not we 
buy books not Mary Kay the books will buy you Mary Kay see he said buy the truth sell it not there are certain things I do every day before I sleep every day some of you sleep from morning till night you are just happy lazying around you come and see people reading and you say oh boy you self now wow what are you reading you keep distracting people there is a name for those people they are called enemies of progress how many of us pay attention there are many of us visitation hopping from house to house hopping to people's office gossiping and discussing things that have no bearing to your future great men hear me are men who have learned to settle down and build their minds that you are a Christian is no guarantee for you to allow yourself to be mentally lazy they give you a speech to prepare you didn't prepare for it you are not serious about it God has brought favor lack of intellectual preparation kill the favor out of your life hallelujah there are many of you oh God is calling me into decoration. What do you know about decoration? How many books? Show me the DVDs you are watching about those who, have, who are champions in decoration. And you come and just keep sleeping dirty pieces of paper for people. Please give me a contract. I am a Christian. I am your member. So what? So what? Oh, I can make hair. Don't patronize that person is an unbeliever. Patronize me. The person patron he said, plot me all back. You plot like this. Yet you think that the person will just say, Okay, you are a nice Christian. Are you contending to improve yourself? I improve myself every day. I'm not satisfied with where I am in every area of my life. Show me what you are doing to build your mind show me the investments you are making mentally and i can tell you whether you will be part of the world changers or you will be part of the storytellers are you listening to me very important lay your hands on your head and say after me in the name of jesus i receive grace to build my mind i will buy books I will buy DVDs. I will build myself in the area I've been called to function. I will be the best. I will not relent until I am the best. Say, I will not relent. I refuse to be a local champion. I'm a global champion. Hallelujah. Yes. Make up your mind. Refuse to be a local champion. A brother is, is, is getting married and all he has home and abroad is 200,000. So they called you and gave you 10,000 for decoration. You just did every kind of ugly thing and they say, who did this? They say, you. They say, oh, well done. You just believe that another time you say, I'm carrying a proposal to Abuja. You carry your file and you're moving to go and disgrace yourself in Abuja. When you go there, you will see other people who have worked upon themselves. When you see their designs, you just stand there as if God failed you. Please take seriously what I'm saying. Believers, build yourself. Every day, there are four things I do until, before I sleep. I must build myself spiritually. I must build myself corporately. I must build myself in leadership. What are you doing? What do you do with your 24 hours? Many of you early in the morning, they saw you in Samaru. Later on, you are in Haindogo. Later on, you are around. And you just come and say, I'm, I'm, I had a busy day. Doing busy but doing nothing. Nothing. You went to go and gossip. Jakes, Kajikwa. You now run to another person. You did this. Stop it if you have been doing that. Great leaders are not like that. If somebody comes and is disturbing you, don't be afraid to tell the person, sorry, I'm doing some studies. I'm praying. Some of you are embarrassed. You don't want to be bad. Ah. Create a protocol around your life. Let nobody just jump in and out of your life because they think they want to see you. You are studying. 
at that point illumination is coming somebody just bash it in over everything for the boys politely tell the person i'm i'm in a period i'm birthing something that can take my family from where they are to mount ararat and take them to a place where they will be great do you not know samadhi he says ideas rule the world there are many of you if only you pay attention the truth is god tried for you you are very intelligent you are just not serious you can't sit down and pay the price and you know something listen the truth is if you really really want to be great god will open the way for you the reason is many of us do not want it bad enough that's why the way has not opened i don't care what it is you want if you desire it truly he said you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart there is a level of passion when i want things i get them oh yes i get them i will pay any price to get it for me pain is not an issue hallelujah when i travel and people who have gone ahead of me in any area of life are talking i get a biro I'm just listening to them ardently or i'm just typing on my phone i'm listening to the wisdom they are bringing while i'm listening i'm reaching out to my pocket finding any seat there to connect you see let me tell you i i taught this already in commanding results the law of honor things do not just happen are you hearing what i'm saying things are made to happen the truth is whatever area it is you are trusting god to go to there are people who are carriers of that grace there are people who have that knowledge you want to plot you believe you want to start a saloon have you gone to somebody who has who has a saloon and tell the person see i have two thousand naira. can i give you this two thousand naira and be coming every day and be learning for one hour i plead with you see me i started plotting somebody this all these people this arrogance is what has kept a lot of people humility if you do not humble yourself you will never build your mind don't wait for people who have solution to come and meet you doctors don't look for sick people they establish an institution called a hospital and the sick people look for them passionately and even in the hospital there are different kinds of words according to your desperation there is a word called emergency word when you really need help badly they take you to that word life has emergency word there are many people who you can get tired of your life that you say no i'm not going to any i'm going to an emergency world build yourself build yourself oh god wants to make me a pastor and god showed me in a vision i'm going to have 1000 branches my brother start getting going for knowledge before you die early the trouble of managing yourself is even killing you and you want to manage 1000 branches full of members see this is why god does not answer the prayer of a lot of people they they want crowd they do not know the complexities that come with managing people every day there is a case somewhere somewhere this is what was wearing moses away and his father jethro in law um, uh, his father in law jethro began to give him a key on how to he would have died for nothing there are many men of god who are dying because they are doing everything everything because they do not understand the principle everybody say i receive grace to build my mind jordan bookstore is there you can start let me see how many of you believe that you are going to do business let me see your hands business people whether potentially or presently what are you doing in that line of business keep your hands lifted so that i will what are you doing are you doing anything or you are just coveting other people who have gone ahead and say hey god oh, this is lucky oh. please drop your hands take it seriously you want to do business behave like a businessman don't behave like a thief how many of you believe that god has called you into one form of leadership or the other whether corporately almost everybody should be lifting their hands you are either a father or a mother at least what are you doing to build? no i'm serious what are you doing to build it 
I build myself every day. I interact with the brightest of the brightest of the brightest. I love everybody, but I will not learn from everybody. I want to shorten my journey as much as possible. So I'm not ready for anybody to bring his mediocrity and make and punish me. Then after many years, go for the best. Say go for the best. Tell your neighbor, go for the best. Don't let loyalty and sympathy make you just camp around people. You know your brother is good, but the truth is he cannot sing very well. You want to be a musician. Collect his own tape so that he won't feel angry. But go and look for people who have earned the right to command authority in that field. Loyalty has stopped a lot of people from moving forward. A man of God who is not a businessman, doesn't know anything about business, is organizing a business expose and preaching all kinds of messages that don't make sense. He's a good man of God but a bad businessman. And a lot of people carry all of those principles and life flogs them back. Love your pastor. Honor your pastor. If he's not a businessman, look for a businessman and listen to him. Hallelujah. Finally, the third cost is the physical cost. If you're angry with me, that's a sign that God is working on you seriously. You know I won't stop. No way. Physical cost. The third one. It takes diligence and work. Not necessarily hard work, but work. To bring forth extraordinary accomplishments. Look at me. Everybody say laziness. Say one more time. Laziness. For the last time, laziness is not my portion. In Jesus name. If you want to accomplish things supernaturally, extraordinary accomplishments, three things must suffer momentarily in your life. Number one, your time. Number two, your energy. Number three, your resources. The proof of love, the clearest proof of love is the investment of time. You must have time for anything you love or you consider serious enough. How much time are you putting on ground? How much energy? Energy. Everybody say energy. See, great people in life are workaholics. Are you hearing me? They work their life out until they enter that realm of greatness. Praise God. I've been ministering in the last three weeks, traveling, ministering, doing a lot of things. But it does not stop me from doing the things I have to do. Hallelujah. From this place, I have another trip again. Traveling up and down. Yet, you must give your energy. Everybody say energy. Some of you like sleep. Once it's 9.30, you're already nodding. Even if you are talking with somebody, you just do like this. And the next thing you are sleeping. No. No. If you love sleep, you will kill your, your future. your legs inside cold water and said my eyes you can sleep if you want to sleep but my life must move forward if you make that determination no devil in existence will stop you physical efforts there are some of us who are lazy you hate pain you hate anything discomforting you you hate embarrassment right now as i'm talking you're feeling embarrassed why are you embarrassing us every great man in life is one who has been able to kill embarrassment where you open up your heart and say flog me just lash it let it come to build me many of us have lived in a place where everybody has lied to us either because you are a pretty lady or you are a handsome guy everything you do is right i tell you the truth if what you are doing is wrong i will tell you change Proverbs 14 verse 23. We'll look at a few scriptures and we'll pray. Your destiny must move forward in the name of Jesus. Proverbs 14 verse 23. 
Let's read together. One to read. In all what? In all labor there is profit. But the talk of the lips. Cheap talk. There are many people that talk, 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 talk. But the Bible says in all labor. Put your talk to work. In all labor there is profit. But the talk of the lips tended to what? Penury. Back your talk with tremendous efforts and tell yourself no matter what it will cost me say in the name of jesus no matter what it will cost me i am prepared to pay the price to be the best in my field in the area god has called me i will be outstanding i will pay the price the price of time the price of energy the price of my resources Some of you are on scholarship, students. A few of you, God is blessing you. 50,000 or 75,000 or your 5 or 10,000 is coming. Every time you get it, you are always running to the restaurant. Every time you get it. Boys, it don't land. You can't be great that way. You can't be great that way. So you create a momentary feeling of being successful why don't you pay the price and create the real one stop pretending like you are there when you are not there if your capacity has not reached for indomie take gary and use them I, I, are you following me now if your capacity has not reached for baked beans get the normal one shake off all those things from it and cook it giving thanks knowing that it will change there are too many people living fake lives fake lives you create an impression you do not have the resources to defend somebody comes you see my watch now you say i must buy this kind of watch you go and pack your whole finances and frustrate yourself and you are suffering alone and god will say so it when you buy it and that's frustration for you see let me tell you say after me there is time for everything say it be careful what you covet about people and don't put yourself under pressure you don't need to prove a point to anybody if you have only one trouser that has torn sew it honorably and wear it let the people laugh very well so that when you become great they won't they won't say it's magic they saw you some of you will charter a car from samaru to sabo you say i'm, I'm in a hurry hurry for what 250 naira that you can buy a book you have not gotten to that level be patient the jeep will come nobody is arguing it but it won't come now pay the price sister you will buy the human hair for now use what is available use what is available don't carry 10,000 and spend it and you are just moving around fake lives use that that resource to build yourself say amen. amen if your own has not reached for shagalinku go to zinc house go to come market go anywhere be honorable about it there was a time it was zinc house we used to go to that was that was our level and let me tell you in all sincerity even at that level we were better than a lot of people by that means it's just that we decided to push our lives down because we knew there was there were higher jobs. There are many of you. If you get one million today, today you will buy a car of seven hundred thousand, a phone of one hundred and fifty thousand, and a suit of hundred thousand. That's all. And you just come and then give a testimony. Say the heavens open, and I'm here. My car is there. My suit is here. From that day, you start suffering. Nothing else about your life. Stop pretending it. You will get there one day. For now, invest in yourself. waste your time you think people are looking at you let me tell you they are not looking at you they have enough problems in their lives to face don't deceive yourself they are not looking at you at all they have serious issues about their own lives proverbs 10 verse 4 we're rounding up 
Proverbs 10 verse 4. He becometh poor that deals with what? A slack, a lazy, a slothful hand. He said, but the hand of the diligent will do what? The hand of the diligent will bless him. And with that resource, he will be able to do big things for the kingdom. Next scripture. Proverbs 12 verse 24. Shut up. The hand of the diligent again. God says scriptures about hands. About hands. The hand of the diligent shall bear rule. In other words, shall lead. The hand of the diligent will take him above. He will take charge. He will dominate. He will break records. He will set the pace. But the slothful hand shall be made to pay a price shall be under tribute one last scripture proverbs 20 verse 4 Above all. the sluggard will not plow and what is his excuse there is cold therefore shall he do what therefore shall he do what now is the time to sow many people let me tell you thank god you are hearing this now because there are people who think you are wasting your time i promise you they will pray in tongues and still beg in the days to come it's not a false prophecy it's the truth about life many of the great people in this country are the classmates of some of our parents true or false where were our parents when they were paying the price and they get angry when they see them this is what happens to poor people when they don't pay the price and they see others that go ahead see every time you accomplish supernatural things you create an effect that agitates people because of the frustration you respond to critics not by replying by producing more results Are you ready to take your life from where it is to the next dimension? I've shown you how. These are keys. Your E3 can be the best. God didn't lie when he spoke to you. Are you hearing me? Your business can be the best. Your ministry can be the best. Your life, that book can be a bestseller. You just need to find out find out from those whose books have been bestsellers you wrote your book it was great but it was not a bestseller yet find out god has told you that he's putting the word of the lord in your mouth and you will be a prophet to the nations as it is nobody knows you go and get this spiritual capital of the anointing pay the price and i tell you if if i were a prophet if that God called me into the prophetic ministry, I would have done things that would shock people. Many people are not ready to pay the price. Everything is available, but there is a price tag on it. If you can pay it, carry it. The best car in the world is still on sale. If you have the money today, you can go and order it. Nobody will stop you. All the packages in life, according to the measure of grace, and your sacrifice and ability every time i stand before koinonia i don't see see let me tell you a time will come the people you see today will be the ushers in eni just the ushers because i know there is a world dying that cannot resist the solution we are bringing impossible our job is to contend for greater grace man oh my god i'm a success hallelujah i have the capital of the anointing i have the holy spirit the wisdom of god in me and i will pay that price rise up on your feet i bring you words of comfort it will not always remain like this your life will change lift your voice and begin to pray in tongues Mam bretta kata baladabos 
Supernatural accomplishments Extraordinary accomplishments Like Uzziah Make sure you are praying You are shining Like the brightness of the firmament You may start from Zaria But I see you going far Don't say I cannot get here Walk by the principles They will open you up to those gates The nation will stand And give you an ovation The nations will reward your sacrifice Inspire yourself I cannot be a failure And David encouraged himself Hallelujah Very quickly we are going to pray three prayer points First is your spiritual life How many of you know the anointing is capital? I've shared it with you now. The anointing can make somebody come and sow a seed in your life that your, your business for, for 10 years cannot give. I, why are you neglecting it? And one river came out of Eden. It parted itself into dimensions. You are going to pray. Say, Lord, I value your presence. I value your anointing. That anointing, I take it like a capital. Lift your voice and pray. Mambreta kata 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 bash. Shanda bres kalabash. Shanda paka proso tobalaraba. Hallelujah. The anointing. My head is exalted like the horn of a unicorn. And I am anointed with fresh oil. Power to heal the sick. Power to deliver the oppressed. Access in the spirit that will give me a seat among the great. I refuse to be an ordinary preacher. I'm full of the Holy Ghost. Walking in signs and wonders that will confound men. I'm stepping into deep dimensions of power, of grace. I respect your anointing. I respect your anointing, oh God. Pray. You need the capital of the anointing. You need the capital of the Holy Ghost. The greatest gift. And the Bible says the gift of a man. The gift of the Holy Ghost. The gift of the anointing. They told Jesus, all men seek for thee. All men seek for thee. Rich men seek for thee. Blessed people seek for you. Because of what you carry. If you carry grace, they will look for you. If you carry power, they will look for you. If you carry unction, they will look for you. If you carry fire, they will look for you. They will invite you. They will sow into your life. They will bless you. My spiritual life, I receive your fire, oh God. It's not a waste, it's a glorious investment that will separate you, regardless of your lineage, regardless of your barrier, regardless of any factor. There is a world dying out there. They need the anointing. They are willing to honor it. They are willing to invest in it. They are willing to reward it. When you become anointed, you will be above. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. During my birthday, I was amazed at all the gifts that I got from people all around this nation and even from people outside of this nation. Many who have been blessed by the grace. Anointing is capital. Get this revelation. 
when you pay the price if you get authentic grace there are hardly any families that invite me today that may not package something there are some of you right now you came here you left different places you package seeds some gifts in kind in cash you are waiting for the grace to sow years ago you were still alive but you did not come to me because there was no grace that means if i increase the grace a time will come i will start attracting a kind of people anointing is capital hear me he said because thou lovest righteousness and hated wickedness therefore god even thy god has anointed you with an oil of gladness that makes you above your fellows i hardly pay for things in my life right now i hardly pay for anything because everybody is scrounging to pay something for me that's what the anointing can do in your life stop struggling go for the anointing go for grace go for fire go for power and see the way to raise you all other factors notwithstanding there are people who would never listen to me but they have been compelled by the power of his presence upon my life my age notwithstanding it has opened doors for me my age notwithstanding my level of exposure notwithstanding do you know that the anointing is capital it can end inferiority in your life when you have something men will come to drink of it he said gentiles will come to my life it's an honor lord to stand and worship you so i lift my hands to the great i am who was and who is and needs to come and the great I am who can compare who can compare with you Jesus nobody nothing can stand your presence I don't care what medical report you are holding in this place tonight I don't care what medical report you brought SS AS Hallelujah. I don't care what HIV, cancer, tumor, arthritis, name it. I don't care what else is in your prayer requests. If God is alive, he will do wonders tonight. I know this. Cabiosio. Cabiosio. There's nothing that defies the power of the living God. When the nation of Israel stood and the Red Sea was before them, Egyptians were coming with anger to take them back to where they were. What's that worship song again? You could sing that song again. I've forgotten. Who is talking? What are you saying? Eh? Wait. Uh -huh. Before your presence came and changed me. I was singing it boldly, boy. Sing it again. I won't go back. I won't go back. Again. Hold on. From where? You left Egypt peacefully. And, and Pharaoh said, I won't let them go. Do you know? Listen. Listen. Do you know that the fact that God wants to release you does not mean Satan is ready to let you go? It takes power. The Bible says when Moses came and told Pharaoh, he said, Mr. Man, God has sent me. And Pharaoh laughed. He said, which God? There are many. Which one are you talking about? Hallelujah. And he threw his rod. 
And Pharaoh brought his wise men, they threw their rods to. Tonight there are demons positioned, there are devils positioned. They've been planning since the beginning of this month that you won't go. It takes force. He said, through the greatness. He said, how awesome are your ways, O Lord. Through the greatness of thy power will thy enemies submit themselves. Not through grammar. Through the, it takes power. Authority is useless without power. A police officer can stop a car and the truck will come and kill him and say, you are wasting my time. Get out of the way. That's a powerless authority. But when you have authority, that there are angels standing to supervise that this word comes to pass. You are not alone in this place. I won't go back. You left Egypt on your way to your prophetic destiny. Now Pharaoh begins to ride upon that horse. Mimicking Christ who rides upon his horse also. The Bible says there was a Red Sea. And the nation of Israel began to murmur and Moses went to God. He said, stand still. Exodus 14, 14. Fear not, be still. He said, for these Egyptians that you see, have the privilege of looking at them at, for the last time. That's why I told you, look at your report. Because he says, these Egyptians you see, you will never, never. And it became true in the Bible because they didn't see those Egyptians again. God opened the ground for them. Whatever God needs to do tonight, if the ground needs to open, if the ground needs to fill, if a boat to, is to come and carry you to your place, whatever needs to be done is within the power of God. But I know, he said, I will sing unto the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously. The horses and its riders have been thrown, swallowed permanently. You know why they, if they bury a man in water, that's the worst form of death. There's no hope of seeing you. That's why they bury Bin Laden that way. Someone can dig the grave to wipe your memory from the face of the earth. You won't go back. What again? Back to the way it used to be before your presence came and changed me. That's what is happening to you refuse to go back say lord that habit been struggling with masturbation been struggling with pornography i've prayed i've fasted i've done night vigils tonight tonight i contend against those powers once and for all hallelujah it keeps working for others until it gets to your turn hallelujah there are families like that Doors keep opening for every other person until it comes to the point of your father or your mother. Tonight, God will visit families. Oh, God will visit families. You notice the last three or so miracle services, we've been concentrating on families. God wants to step in and do miracles in families. Everything you lay your hands on doesn't work. Everything you lay your hands you own the shop you eat everything there by yourself because there's nobody to come and buy it someone opens another shop before you and you're watching listen life is spiritual if you are yet to know that know it today say after me life is spiritual aha uh -huh. things don't just happen like that you orchestrate things to happen to job he spoke he said have thou commanded thy money Thou commanded thy morning. It takes authority. I'm saying this so that when, when the time comes to minister, you tell, the, you tell the devil, pack your load and disappear from my life once and for all. Once and what? For all. Not once and come back later. Once and for all. Because there are many people who have received some of the miracles you are writing here before and it came back. You see, let me tell you something. The degree of your anger tonight say it must go once and wrong your mother or your sister struggled with barrenness and then they took in 
you even get testimony and you are laughing later they said there was a miscarriage come on it will go tonight once and for all for the bible says god opened the womb of rachel god opened the womb of hannah it's god that opens wombs oh it's not medical paracetamol or so on and so forth god opens wombs if god opens it no devil in existence can shut it hallelujah there are some of you they've prophesied to you even some of your lecturers have spoken to you they call you the dullest student in the class they say you are good for nothing you patch wire here three credit you added another one later you beg with the third one they say they don't accept they just allowed you but let me tell you something there is an unction that will come upon you tonight it will change your story the bible says they looked at saul and they say is saul also a prophet hallelujah terminal disease of all sorts that's why i said heterogeneous manifestations of evil don't you ever tell me god is responsible for what happened to you are you listening to me he said the enemy has done this and so you must rise up and say lord my mother was oppressed from her office they kicked her out because of her innocence. If you are God, tonight we settle the issue of her job. Tonight we settle every issue. There are some lecturers that were withdrawn from ABU. If you know any of them or any of them is your father, tonight is the night you get angry and say, Lord, it is over. Am I making sense to someone here? This is the session. You tell yourself you're going to come in with a CGPA that if men hear, they will ask you and say, from whence come at this? <laughs> Hallelujah. Tonight we will open doors that have been closed. Hallelujah. And doors that Satan opened by himself will close both him and the door and close them out forever. Both him and the door. It's only when you are seeing a visitor that he can harass you. When you close him and the door he goes out forever. Hallelujah. Oppressions of the devil. Tonight is the night when you say, Lord, I will step up. Everybody is announcing, say, God is blessing. Jake is announcing and say, God is opening doors. I'm sure that there are some families who are here seated. They are even doubting and say, God, will you really do this this night? Some of you invited your family members. Some of you outside while you're listening. Some people are even doubting and say, will God really change my story? Because one prophet or one apostle spoke like this oh, some months ago. You watch what God will do tonight. For you won't go back. You can't go back. To the way it used to be Before your presence came and changed me There is a name that has been given unto us The name of the Lord Jesus Christ The exalted son of the living God Greater than every herbalist Greater than every sickness in your body Greater than every medical condition. I like you. See, tonight is the night you will stamp medical reports and say, I stamp you. Tonight is the time for your genotype to change. It's the time for the anointing of the Spirit to walk in your life. Why is it not you? Why not? See, listen. Listen, there are some of you that like receiving for others. You have trained your faith to receive for others. So when the word is coming like this, you just exempt yourself. Why not you? Ask your neighbor, say, why not you? Say it, why not you? What is wrong with God prospering you? What is wrong with God changing your story? Is it a sin if your family celebrates a new car? Must they die like that? They already love God. Is it a crime for God to bless your family? I'm speaking to someone here. Is it a crime?
that they dedicate a house and stop being harassed by landlords is it that god cannot do it if a rich man promises you now you will start dancing but god is here giving you an open check tonight Some of our parents have been working for 14 years, 15 years, because they will not compromise, they have refused to promote them. And he's telling on many of you, your parents are already becoming hostile to everyone at home. Tonight we have come to change these things. Some of you have received all kinds of devilish prophecies over your life. They've said you will not amount to anything. But I have a shock for Satan tonight. You know, when you have a present, you first bring it out. You don't know what is inside, but you know there's a present. He will make a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Like Haman, they are the ones who will orchestrate your victory as you ride upon that horse. See, in case you don't know, if you are a visitor here, let me tell you a few things. We deal ruthlessly with Satan in this place. Are you listening to me? Because we identify him to be the source of men's failure and predicaments in life. He said the enemy, the Bible calls him a thief. Anything that a thief has is not his own. Where did he get it from? Answer me, where did he get it from? From who? The owner. The Bible calls him a thief. He has stolen the joy of some people and some families. There are many of you now, your families are at the verge of divorce. Your father has not spoken to your mother for years because one woman in the village said all kinds of rubbish tonight. Some of you, your loved ones have been missing. You even thought they are dead. They will come back. Oh yes. He shouted the voice of Lazarus and in hell Lazarus had it. Your own, they've not gone to hell yet. They will hear this night. Tonight, every stubborn spirit that exists on the earth, that is at work in everyone, will be released tonight. Because when we did the teaching about destiny helpers, do you know that there are human beings that have the art of allowing themselves to host demons and cause catastrophe for others? Oh, in case you don't know, know it now. When Jesus was born, he suddenly found out that they were looking for him to kill him. Questions are, who did he offend? Oh, don't offend me. Don't offend you. <clears throat> Paul and Angel said, this, the earth is a battleground, not a playing a football field. That my change will come tonight. That my change will come tonight. I won't give up, Lord, I won't give up, I'll keep pressing on, till my answer comes, if there is such an anointing, I won't give up, Lord, I won't give up, I'll keep pressing on. Those of you who have been marked by the spirit of death, who will cause it out of your life. Are you listening to me? One more time, look at your prayer request for the very last time. And I mean business. Ushers, please get set because we'll collect the prayer requests so that when we start, we don't need to be interrupted. Speak to it. Any goodbye forever. I've waited for this time. Pack your load out of my life. Uh -huh. You are not reciting a poem. You are prophesying. He says, son of man, prophesy. Son of man, prophesy. Look at it for the last time. And say, Jesus, I believe in you. You are greater than this report. You are greater than this challenge. Tonight it will answer to your name. If it doesn't respect me, it will respect the name of Jesus. Now begin to pray in tongues as you pass that prayer request.
to the last person at the aisle. Outside, do it quickly. Just pass it to the last person at the aisle. Ushers, direct them, please. Quickly. Shatarabala katabranda kalabosa. Rembrete getekat shaprasta la kata. This is the confidence that I have in you whenever I call you, you will answer. This is the confidence that I have in you. Whenever I call you, this is my confidence, Lord. This is my confidence that I have in you. Whenever I call you, you will answer me. This is the confidence. minute i like you to pray for your loved ones say lord from here let this unction lead to their homes make sure you are praying call them by name call them by name they are not as anointed as you are standing for them call them by name call them by name say lord for my sister call them by name your name must answer to them. Kata balata, rata parikata, leke porosotayama. Call them by name. Say, I release an unction to my home. I release angels. Lord, as you are doing it here, do it there. As for me and my house, and my house. Pray for them. Lagos, Abuja, Maiduguri, Bauchi State, Yobe, Zamfara, Kogi, wherever. Do a miracle, oh God. Do a miracle, oh God. I know you will do it. I know you will do it. Raise the dead. Change their status. Hallelujah. Now, hallelujah. There's someone that has been on my mind. Even while I was traveling back today, I was thinking about the person. He came all the way from, I think, Yobe, Saleh. Where is he? Please come. The Lord will begin with you tonight. ushers position yourself inside and outside because there will be a rain in this place hallelujah listen you will be set free where did you come from please technical can you help us where did you come from Bauchi State. Okay, from Bauchi. Yes. I want you to know that God will do a miracle in your life. Amen. You believe that? Yes, I believe. You came full of faith. Yes. 
Lord will set you free right now Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus, that devil, come out of him right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, just breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. I set you free right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Now, listen. Listen. Please. I want to see those who have heart conditions. You came here. Hear me outside, please. We don't have time to waste. We are not going to have to mention cases individually. But when when we call your case please run out we're going to pray and see as far as god want to finish fast so that we'll end quickly heart conditions leave your seat and come out here quickly either a hole in the heart or an abnormal heart formation quickly quickly appreciate them as they line up here ushers coordinate them heart conditions please come and line up here quickly that devil is a liar Heart condition. Growing up, they told you you have a heart condition. Come out and line up here. Come out and line up here. No matter how old you are or how young you are. Please line up. Line up. Straight line. Line up. Usher, direct them, help them. Hallelujah. As you're standing here, I'd like you to wave bye bye to it. Because I know the unction of the Spirit is here. God will set you free. Baba, God will set you free, sir. And everyone. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, sirs, we'll minister quickly. We'll just minister to them. Hallelujah. Praise God. I tell you, there is an unusual unction in this place. As hands are laid on you. Hallelujah. Return back thanking the Lord and check if you are still seated in the crowd and you know you have a heart condition. Don't sit back there. God wants to change your story. Hallelujah. There's someone who has an unusual palpitation. I don't know what it is. You, the way you, the way you breathe sometimes it's literally holding you and choking you, you are the one, look at me because it's a devil of darkness your own is not just sickness, look at me in the name of Jesus I command that devil of darkness let her go in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus let her go 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 you are a devil of darkness come out, come out Come out of her now. Come out of her now. In the name of Jesus. Out of her. Come. My sister, you too. Come. Some of you that are standing. As hands are laid, you will find out that it was in sickness. My dear, God will set you free right now. Because your own is an oppression. Look at me. Are you, are you listening to me? There is a devil that has oppressed this girl. You will go, 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 go in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus, greater than any other name. Something is leaving you. I'm seeing a dark object coming out of you. Come out of her now. Sister, look at me. I'll pray for you. God will set you free. You believe that? Now thou foul devil, let this girl go round by the power of the Holy Ghost. Go, 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 go. Let her go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I say you won't hide. Come on, I see you in the spirit. Go out of her in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Janka, please. Minister Jakes, Bishop, let's begin to, as they lay hands, they will speak to your life. Don't just think they are laying hands. Hallelujah. Please stand. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. As hands are laid, begin to pray while you're standing. Out 
out of him now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed now. I curse that devil of darkness. Go. 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 Be healed in the name of Jesus. Come out of her now. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Right, devil of darkness. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. Let him go. Let him go now. Let him go. Let him go. Go, be healed. Sister, I cost that devil. Because I also see oppression in your sleep. That demon of darkness. Go in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Made whole right now. Be made whole. Oh, God is not done with you. God is not done with you. Be healed in the name of Jesus. As you go back to your seat, check yourself. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come out of her now. Come out of her. Come out of her. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out of her right now. In the name of Jesus. What's wrong? Be made free right now. In the name of Jesus. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus. Set you free. Set free right now. From every oppression. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, only outside, not inside. All of you outside, lift your hands. Not those inside. Please, those inside. Lift your hands, those outside. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. The fire of God will terminate the works of darkness. So many of you are under influences of the devil. Hallelujah. Only those outside. At the count of three, as you shout, the power of God comes upon you. One. Two, three. Let the fire fall. I curse devils. I curse demons. Go, go, go. Bring them in, ushers. Go, go. Let the fire fall. Bring them in. Bring them in. The fire fall all across the building. Outside. All across. Fire is falling. Goes outside. One more time. Goes outside. Shout Jesus. Outside at the back, in power, 
The fire of the Holy Ghost outside. 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 The fire of the Holy Ghost. Outside, God is not done. Lift your hands and release fire. 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 Take it. Take it outside. Take it outside. For this purpose, the Son of God, I see two ladies sitting in the same row outside. The fire of God comes upon you now. Right now, that oppression over your life. Two ladies sitting in the same room. Look at me. We've not finished, so we've not finished. If it's possible, if it's possible. The ministers are going to separate themselves into three and walk across the crowd outside. No devil will survive today. Brother, I see a serpent, not a man. Come out of him now. Out of him now. A devil of darkness. Come out of him. Come out of him. I see a snake, not a man. Come out of him. Come out of him. Come out of him. Fire upon you! 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 I'm seeing a snake, not a human being. You see the way he's behaving? Look at what he's doing. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Come out of him. In the name of Jesus. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Leave him, leave him, go. Go, go, go. As you touch me, you touch fire. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out of him. He must be free. Come out of him. Come out of him now. Come out of him. 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 Come out of him now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon him. Out. 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 Look at, he's free. Look up. Look at this gentleman. Someone who came oppressed of the devil. Brother, you are free in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pick him up. Stand up, my brother. 
Look at, see, he's even surprised. Look at. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Look at me. Look at me. Do you know when you came out here? Where were you? You came outside. Help me with the mic. What's your name? Samuel. Eh? Samuel. Where are you coming from? Danaka. Look at this guy. Outside. He doesn't even know that he's here. Look at him surprised looking at everybody. The Lord perfect you and set you free. Where was the lady you were praying for? Pray, this lady. See, I see an old woman. That's what I'm seeing. Turn this lady. I see a very old woman. Come on now. Come out of her. Come out of her. You're not done. Come out of her. Come out now. She lay down as though it's done. You are not done. You are spiritual people here. Out of her now. Out of her by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come out of her right now. That foul devil. In Jesus name. Leave her alone. She's free. Look at. What's wrong with this woman? Who brought her? Please, if you brought someone, make sure you stand close to the person. Who brought mama? Who are you? Come. Well done. What's her name? Lydia. What's wrong with her? She has been bleeding for the past three years now. For the past three years. Look at. She had dislocation. She had what? Dislocation on her shoulder. She could Since when? Mama, she can she talk? Yes, I can. Mama, how are you? I'm well. Well done, eh? What's the issue? Oh, this hand now is dislocated. Yes, it was since December last year. December? That I went to toilet on my way coming back. You see, you always, like you always know the signature of Satan when you see it. I'm not so, teaching you to be demon conscious. I'm back, just I telling just you that. On the you did what? I said on my way coming back. I found my on the way from the toilet. Yes. How old are you, Mama? I'm 51. 51. I found myself sitting on the ground. You not found that, yourself sitting on the ground. I, that, I don't know how it happened. Not that I fell down flat. So. And okay, come. You are her daughter. Let, let her talk. I was taken to a hospital that is not stroke because immediately it happened. My left hand and left leg seized. Your left I, leg right now is not moving. No, it's moving. What of your right hand? The what right, is wrong with that, it? No, nothing happened. It's only the left leg and the left hand that seized immediately. Then I was rushed to the hospital. So the bleeding will stop. No, and, no. The case of the bleeding is different from. I was taken to the hospital. That it was cancer of the womb. Cancer of the womb. Yes. You still have it. Yes. It's going to go. This is what I'm so, saying. That it was not stroke. That it was partial stroke. It was what? Partial stroke. Partial stroke. Then, the following, I was in the hospital for two weeks. I, I, I told them, the doctor, that I want him to discharge me. I want to go for prayer. So I went to, for prayer in Nosarawa State. So, the, the following day, in, in the prayer house, I it's time move, for you I to move, go, 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 out of her now, out of her now, now in the name of Jesus, that devil, out of her now, fire on you, fire on you, in the name of Jesus, fire upon you, go, 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 go. Sorry, Mama. So I move my leg. So I. Okay, what, what, did, what, okay, so what is wrong with you right now? What, what did now, you come with right the now? Of the womb. Cancer because of the womb. Cancer of the womb. bleeding. Then, your the, hand. The hand. These are the two conditions. Now that I fell down flat, so I discovered that I have dislocation on my shoulder. So, okay, it's all right. The hand has been fixed locally, but up to now I couldn't move the hand. But I'll pray for you. I'll pray for you. Yes. All right. Can you feel my hands? Can you feel my hands? Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. My God, do wonders in this hand right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Perfect this hand. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. That devil of darkness, your hold is taken from my hands. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus.
fingers. Every pain go. I command you to go. You are of the spirit of darkness. I challenge you. Try lifting it up. Lift both of your hands up. Try it. Just try lifting your hands up. Can you? Try lifting it up. In the name of Jesus. You feel pains? You feel pains where? Your shoulder. By the power of the Holy Spirit, begin to move it more. In the name of Jesus, begin to move it. Start moving it. Start moving it. Start moving it. Start moving it. In the name of Jesus, I curse that devil. I curse that devil. Can you wind your hand? Try and wind this hand. Just look at me. Look at me. that coughs out blood I'm seeing someone that coughs out blood you cough all the time you cough out blood please hurry up you cough out blood literally who is the person inside are they hearing me outside quickly if you identify that person let the person come you cough out blood literally come out Please clear the way for them. Ah, look at oppression. This is what I'm seeing. Come on now, get out of her. Out of her now. Out of her now. Out of her in the name of Jesus. Out of her now. Out of her, thou devil of darkness. I curse you by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. only this lady but the members of her family have been oppressed lay your hands on her chest in the name of Jesus I curse that power of darkness be free totally now in the name of Jesus since when for the past two weeks, for the past two weeks. have you gone to the hospital can I pray for you? You believe Jesus will lay your hands on your chest. You will feel a fiery sensation upon your chest right now. Now you hear my voice. Let her go. Go! Go! Hallelujah. Those of you inside, lift your hands. I'm going to ask the cymbal to clash and the string play. Listen, when that happens, the fire of the spirit will move across anyone here under any oppression of darkness. You must go. This is not a negotiation. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. At the count of three, begin to clash the cymbal. One, two, three. Kashatabata. Go, 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 go! 
go, 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 I stretch my hand by the power of the spirit. Devils go. Satan be exposed. Satan be exposed. For this purpose was the Son of God. Satan be exposed. Light shine. I release fire. 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 fire upon this congregation. Fire. 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 Fire upon you. Fire. Bring them out. Bring them out. Fire. 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 You can't stand it. No devil can stand it. Fire. Bring them out. Bring them out. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire everyone under any cause, any spell, any enchantment, any act of witchcraft. Fire, 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 fire. The fire is burning. The fire is burning. You can't stand it. Satan, go. It's time for God's people to go. It's time for destinies to be open. It's time for what has made you to cry to end. Bring them out. Hey, I see you in the spirit. Leave her. Leave her. Go. 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 I see you in the spirit. Out of her. Out of her. Out of her. Out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are free in Jesus' name. Bring me a mic. I do these things to teach you a lesson. Madam, stand up. No, 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 not her. Not her. You are a devil of darkness. For how do you think you can hide in the presence of God's light? Look at me. Bring the mic for me. You are not gone completely, oh. 
You are a devil of darkness. Out of her now. On your mark, get set, go. Go, 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 go. Out of her. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. As you touch me, you touch fire. As you touch me, you touch the fire of the spirit. It make it is out of her now. Out, 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 out. Come out of her now. She's free. In the name of Jesus. Madam, it will not stand fire from my hands to your head. If I be a servant of God, you stand around fire. In the name of Jesus, come out of her. This woman's destiny has been tied down. Lord, who is the person? Let the fire of God catch up with the person right now. God shows me this room. There's one person. With my hands. Let the fire of the spirit separate that person. Now. 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 Stand up, madam. Don't feel embarrassed. Calm down. Hallelujah. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I want you to look at me. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. See, this woman has suffered. You just see someone walking. Things are not going right. People speak all kinds of grammar and Satan is advancing. Mama, please come. Jangfa is going to speak to you. I sense, please, Mama. You are free. Take her outside. I see her coughing, whatever. Please take her outside for God's sake so we don't litter this place. Take her outside. I don't know if it's poison or whatever it is that she took. Take her outside. You're still not out. Go out, go out, go out now. Out, go out. Go out in the name of Jesus. Go out of her. Go out of her. Come, place your hand on this lady's chest. Out of her. Come out of her now. I release fire upon you. Foul devil. Out of her. Patata tata ta kapa. Rakata posa tali. Rekete kete kete. Le gronto zopo rotata. Riata la kosiaba. Alright, your reign in this life is over. On your mark, set, go. 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 You can't stand it. Go. 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 I prophesy to you today. After today, your life will begin to move as if Satan does not exist. Amen. Are you listening to me? Every oppression, those outside hear me. Every oppression challenging your family through the greatness of the power 
that is in the name of Jesus that challenge will bow don't let her go bring her back come sweetheart look at me just look at me look at my eyes look at my eyes just keep looking look at my eyes look at my eyes I'm seeing your father's face on your face look at my eyes just look for she will go free the children shall not suffer the iniquity of their fathers right now you and the spirit of death upon her get lost get lost get lost get lost Lift up your heads, O oh ye gates. Be ye lifted, O oh ye ancient doors. And the King of glory will come in. In Jesus' name. You're free. Come, Mama. Bring that lady who is falling. See, tonight, many of you, you will go back rejoicing. He who has the Son, has it all. We have the Son, so we have it all. Lay your hands on her stomach. Out. 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 In the name of Jesus. What is it? Cancer. Who said so? The doctors. Lay your hands there. Lay. Kisa, interpreter. Selina. Where is she? She's walking. Tell her Jesus. Okay. Okay. Tell her Jesus Christ is going to heal her right now. See, she's crying. See, tell her Jesus will heal her now. Is she looking at you? Look at her. Tell her, Mama. Jesus will heal you. Look at, look at, look at this. 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 This is somebody's mother. This is somebody's mother. of you outside, I want you to know that Jesus is in this place. There is someone I need in this room. The devil has oppressed you. And the Holy Ghost spoke to me. He said, come out. Two of you, all of you in this room, lift your hands. That devil is a liar. As I, I shout the name of Jesus, the fire of God will come. People, please let me in the mighty name of Jesus. I release fire right now. My father, 
locate those two people right now in the name of Jesus let the fire of God fall 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 two of them two of them there's one already two of them fall Satoya Fall 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 Sister, tonight is your night of salvation. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come up. Come out of her. Shatata. Out of them. 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 Bring them in. He who was the son. See, none of you will go back the same. Are you hearing me? None of you will go back. Who is Grace here? Who is by the name Grace? You are standing here. Your name is Grace. Who is Grace? Come in, sir. He who was the son. Has eternal life. We have the Son, so we have eternal life. Time is up, thou foul devil. Let this guy go. Go, fire on you, fire upon you. That devil of oppression, that devil, leave him now. Come out of him. 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 Now fire upon you. Fire. Let him go. Let him go. Come out of him. Come out of him. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of you are not done. Out, out, out until he's completely free. Out. Little girl, be free. I separate you with this spirit. Go. 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 Time up. Time up. This lady is heavily oppressed. Out of her. Out devil of darkness. You came for koinonia. You're welcome. Out of her in the name of Jesus. Stand up, pick him up. Fire on you right now. It's time. It's time. It's time. You must go. Go. Bring him. You must go. This lady has been so tight. Now, listen. I need to explain something to you. Please follow me. It's not the people. Listen. It doesn't mean they are possessed with demons. Are you listening to me? So get that clear so that you don't carry your big mouth and start talking stories around. There are three levels of manifestation of Satan. Some of them are acutely possessed with demons. Some of them, devils influence their lives and destinies. So the fact that they are manifesting like they are possessed does not mean they are possessed. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That's why they don't even know. Pick him up. Kai, this guy has been so oppressed of the devil. This lady has dreams and she meets with people. Go out of her. Go out of her. Just let him, let him lie down when he's ready to stand up. This guy is so weak. He doesn't even know that he has been under all kinds of bondages of Satan. Pray. Let me pray for you. Mama, 
you believe Jesus has authority over cancer. You do because he's going to go. Oh, yes, it will go. Hmm? Lay your hands there. See, I, I'm touching it. It's looking like a stone. Out of her! Out of her! Out of her! Devil of darkness! It's not cancer. It's a spirit. Go out of her now. Go out of her now. Go out of her now. As the sun, as it turned Hallelujah. Mama, who brought Mama out? Eh? I said, who is Grace? Oh, I was actually talking about some. Bring the man or the wheelchair and on crutches. Let him come and stand here. Please, if we have not called your case, don't just come out. We'll give room for that. But let him stand. Sir, please, can you come and minister to this woman for time's sake? Bring him here. Sir, you're welcome. Look at me. What's wrong with you? Accident. On which leg? This leg. What's wrong with the leg? The operation. Operation. Yes. They did surgery. And it's not working. You want to walk? Yes. You believe Jesus will set you free? Clear the way for him. He was the son. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Look at me. You believe in Jesus Christ? Can you walk without with it? Are you feeling pains? Yes. Right Where? Right what of this leg? Yes. Look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Amen. I set you free. Amen. I command your leg to straighten out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me. Walk. Come, follow me. Follow me. Can you walk? Try it. Just take a step and see. What's wrong with the legs? It's heavy. Where? But can you bend it like this? Try and bend it. Go ahead. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Could you do this before? Could you do this before? God is healing you. Keep moving it. Move it. Move it. You just do what I'm telling you to do. Move it. Move it. Now move it like this. Move it like this. Move it like this. Move it like this. Can we try and walk now? Hold this one. Hold my hands. Walk. Let's walk. Let's walk. Let's walk. Try and match it down. Is it because of the metal? There's a metal inside his leg. So it's limiting him from walking. Hallelujah. So they must remove the metal. They can't, oh, they put it here permanently. Lord, let this metal become his bones. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. this metal. Melt away. Amen. Bring the chair Let him sit down. Please, ministers, move across the crowd. We don't have time. Go ahead. Okay, Jamfa is already ministering. Some people outside, just move and minister to people. Join them, Kenny. Someone should take on this role. Vivian, I'm hearing the name Vivian, Pastor Sir, yes. Vivian, who is Vivian? A fair lady called Vivian. No, no, a fair lady called Vivian. The Lord is showing me a fair lady called Vivian. Vivian. Sister, stand up, look at me. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. 
Look at my eyes. Thou foul devil. Go. 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 In Jesus name. Be set free. Leave I alone. Vivian. What's wrong with you? Eh? People come to you and oppress you in a dream. Is that correct? Do you know me? Have, you, have I talked with you before? You want to be free? You'll be free right now. Oga John, it's time for you to enter God's plan and purpose for your life. Are you listening to me? Because you are not supposed to be a photographer. Are you listening to me? You are supposed to have gone far beyond this level. God didn't just bring you to Koinonia to snap. Please take the, photo, the camera. Victor can snap, so be doing it in the interim. You believe what I'm telling you? Uh -huh, because I see that how many people drink in your family? Tell the truth and shame the devil. How many? Two people, sir. You and who? I don't drink, sir. Again? You used to drink. Yes, sir. Have you stopped yes, sir. completely? Yes, sir. Praise God. But the Lord will set you free. Hmm? Because in your family, women. Uh -uh. You believe that? Yes, eh? See, let me tell you the truth. This is not your destiny in Christ. This happened as a result of frustration. Is that correct? Many things, school didn't work. Many things happened. Even Waiek, you don't even have your complete result. Is that true? Help me. Is that true? That's true? God will set you free. Hallelujah. You believe that? I want to speak into your destiny and call it forth into where God wants you to be. That devil is a liar. Come out of him now. Come out of him. I release your glorious destiny. The days of oppression are over. Rise up beyond the photographer. Become the leader and the entrepreneur that God has destined for you to be. See, listen. It's not that this guy is lazy. I hope you know that. It's not that he's lazy. Ella, come. Abigail, come. Wumi, come. Three of you, come and stand here. For the sake of your families, the time has come. Out of her. Come out of her now. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. A devil of darkness. Out now. Now. Shatata rata. Reketele mo subariata. Brento capriata laka. Rakata baba baba baba. Out. Out. Fire upon you. Setele ke pariata. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered fire 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 be set free right now in the name of jesus you have a glorious destiny no devil will hold you down in the name of jesus lawful captives be free i release you that devil of temper and anger go go i command you be free the plague of death over your family. Go, 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 go. I come in, I command that terminal disease. Now it's time. Time up. Time up. You are a devil. Go in the name of Jesus. Be free. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. That devil cannot stand. Fire upon you. It's time to be free. Time to be free time to be free leave her let her go this lady has suffered too long you've held her destiny down go in the name of jesus
again. Come. I stopped praying for you for a reason. Please take this guy up. This gentleman. Look at me. See. Come in. Do you know that your life, listen, listen. I saw upon this guy the spirit of Cain. And I didn't know what it was. He was lying down there. That was why I walked there and laid my hands upon. You know the curse that was upon Cain? Bring them out. God is not done with them yet. You know the curse that was upon Cain? He said he won't die, but he will be a wanderer. This is how this guy's life has been. Today you are in Lagos. Tomorrow you are here. Next tomorrow you are this. It's time for your freedom. Free you. He was the son. Has the time. My dear. Come and stand here. Yes. Come and stand here. Birthday girl, you are the one who celebrated your birthday yesterday. You're welcome. We are going to pray and minister to people. The ministers, are, sir, you, you are done? Ah, please pray. Oh, please take time and speak into their lives. I beg you. These people came to receive. Ministers, go around. Please prophesy to them. Where's Jamfa? Jakes, please, please move around. Where are the people I called out now? My dear, you know, the devil wants to make your life a waste. So you are moving, but you are not accomplishing anything. But the Lord loves you. And tonight, the eye of the Lord is upon you. Hallelujah. You believe that? Hold my hands. Both of your hands. Look at me. Just look at me. Lord, let this lady be free from every oppression of darkness. In the name of Jesus, be free. I set you free by the power of the Holy Ghost. Look at me. I'm seeing you pregnant. Drive every useless man out of your life. Are you listening to me? I'm not saying you are pregnant now. I'm saying I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit, not physically. Hallelujah. Praise God. So don't please kick any man who wants to come and talk grammar around you. Because I'm seeing that you are going to three countries. Number one, South Africa. Huh? Number two, UK. Number three, Canada. These three countries. The Lord is taking you there. Hold on. But then I see a lot of resistance rising up from wherever. I may not be able to talk all this with you because we're in the presence of people. But I want to pray for you. It's time. See, three things will happen. One, a passion for God you cannot recover from. The ministers are ministering to people around. While they are that devil, let me tell you, cast out every devil, prophesy, release people to their prophetic destinies. Let her go. Go! Go! Time up, thou devil of darkness. Be free now. Be free now. I command that wicked spirit. Depart from your life. Fire right now all over your body. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost. All over you. Right now. Leave her, let her go. For she shall not be called Jabez. That's what the Lord says I should say. Because you were born in sorrow, you will not be called Jabez. Tonight, I enlarge your coast in the spirit. My dear, look at me. 
from today, you will walk into your prophetic destiny. See, you don't know what it is that has happened to you now. Even you, you cannot answer. But look at me. You are a very good girl. Are you listening to me? But you are assuming the character of another person. Tonight, the Lord sets you free. This lady is a wonderful lady beyond your imagination. But sometimes, you see her doing things that even her does not know. Because I see the spirit of anger and rage. I mean rage almost to kill somebody. But the Lord sets you free. And this is what I'm seeing in the spirit. I'm seeing you move from the side and you are climbing a ladder and the Lord says restore. This is what I prophesy. Restore. This is what will begin to happen to you. Restore. Hallelujah. If I Ifai, hearing the name Ifai, Ifai, who is Ifai? Ifai, now, if you brought someone for healing from outside Zaria, quickly bring them phone, quickly, we have to round up, quickly, please bring them. If you invited someone, no matter how far you are outside, bring the person, sir, come. It's time for the Lord to set you free. Not only in your health, but on every area of your life. You believe that? Hold my hands. Both of your hands. All right now, I speak to you. I open up that door. I challenge the works of darkness. Go by the fire of the Holy Ghost. One, two, three. The Lord perfects you. Who brought this man? What's wrong with him? Bring them forward. He has what? His sight. He used to be bigger than this. But what happened? Because I'm seeing something like a rock upon his head. Who is Silvanus? Sir, does he drink? Who is your friend that drinks? He's drinking. You need to get him born again and see what's with God. Alright? I want to pray for you right now. Your weight will come back. Your life will be restored. And your eyes, you will begin to see clearly. Hallelujah. Estefanus. Silvanus. From where? From Haido Road. From where? Haido Road. Eh? I A U. Hein Dogo. Ah, okay. You are born again. You love Jesus Christ. But you won't do ministry the way you are planning. You will start afresh with God. Alright? So disable all those man of God things. You will start afresh. Primary one, two, three, four, five. God will anoint you. Right? I'm going to pray for you. You believe what I'm saying. And leave all your friends who are deceiving you. Huh? You are going to be a great man, but you are not yet that man, so you will stay in the school of the spirit. Hmm? These teachings that you people jump and pride over, they are basic things in the spirit. Let God work with you. From today, you begin a new journey. Hold my hands. Lord, put a fire upon him right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A new beginning, fresh start. Just breathe in and out as deep as you can. In and out. Baba, be free. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Who brought him? He came on his own. What's wrong with you? Migraine. Put your hands on your head. Lay it on your head.
be free. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, come, this fair lady, you come. Please pour the prayer request. Highly to serve. You will be a mighty tool in the hands of God. Huh? Mighty tool. But he will first set you free. Then you will begin a walk with him. Any appetite and anything that does not belong to him will give way. You will be surprised what you will begin to do in your life. Okay? Look at me. What am I doing? One leg in. Where is the other leg? Why? Because this is how your life is. It's time for you to love him with every passion. Hmm? So I break everything that is not of God in the realm of the spirit. Let the fire of God take over. Take over your life. Take over her life. Foul spirit, let her go. Lord, anoint her and use her. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. Please do it quickly. Someone help her. Lift up your hands. I look to you. the sun rising over your family and then I heard this song I will wait for you Jesus you're the sun in my the days of oppression are over you are standing on behalf of your family Something is happening to your father right where I'm holding. The Lord is setting him free. Today the Lord is giving you the mantle that was upon your mother. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Because as I look at you I see her face. And the Lord says I should tell you to run with the spirit of power. Whatever you decree will happen. The Lord will establish you and you will be a mother indeed. That all your times of tears will be taken away by a new joy. Take this message to your father, for the Lord visits your family tonight. What was I doing? Okay, the ministers are still... Okay, those that are around, Pastor Williams is here. Just, the ministers are ministering, let them continue, but... Those that are around, even if it's just me and Pastor Williams, please, let's pray on the request. After we pray on the request, I'm going to begin to move prophetically and speak. This is the time you will receive. Are you listening to me? Stretch your hands towards this prayer request and begin to pray in tongues. Bishop. Stretch your hands. Shabala bara do krasta bara bara. Rata kata prata kada bara da bash. Paroka prande prande shida. Two miracles, oh God. Mare kata bara da 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 bash. Solve every problem here, oh God. And for all our Facebook, Twitter.
these Egyptians, you see them no more. 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 These Egyptians, you are conquered. Whatever is conquered here is conquered. All over this country and around the world, we release testimonies, miracles in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, by your spirit, Lord, by your hand, Lord, by your spirit, Lord, by your great power, let there be miracles on this request. Miracles, supernatural miracles, terminate sicknesses, terminate diseases, never to return. Creative miracles in the name of Jesus. All supernatural jobs, supernatural wisdom, let it be done by your spirit. Miracles by your spirit. Supernatural miracles by your spirit. Thank you, mighty God, in Jesus' mighty name. I found a reason why I sing. I found a reason why I sing. I found a reason why I sing. I found a reason. Lift your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. I want you to receive every prophetic word because the creative power of God is going to swing into motion. The creative and prophetic power. Lift your hands. As I pray, I'd like you to shout a loud amen with your spirit. Hallelujah. Right now. Doors of delay. I command you. Be opened. In the name of Jesus. Delay. Be gone. Delay. Be gone. Delay. Delay in marriage. Delay in jobs. I curse it to his root I release you in the name of Jesus every academic bondage every academic bondage kateka leko sopa repete lato zabadi adaka in the name of Jesus, be free. Be free. Be free. Mental blockage, be free from it. Academic bondage, I set you free. This is the best exam you would have ever written in your institutions of learning. I prophesy it by the power of the highest. I call this session for you a season of sevenfold restoration. Sevenfold restoration. Sevenfold. Sevenfold. Not one fold. Not two fold. I speak it. Where you have been victimized, any student here 
who has been victimized right now whether it is project or service year or whatever i change it in the realm of the spirit any one of your loved ones that has no job between today and the middle of april i command fearful supernatural joy in the name of jesus in the name of jesus every womb called barry i don't care whether the womb has been removed or not right now in nine months time you will celebrate miracle children be open every barren womb be open hallelujah every plague of death over your life or your family members make sure you are lifting your hands over. every plague of death by the blood that speaketh better things because I see miscarriages that the devil wants to bring to many families I see miscarriage of children every plague of death I command it to pass over you forever in the name of Jesus he said because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God has anointed you with a type of oil called the oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows the anointing that brings you above I call you in the realm of the spirit rise up in the name of Jesus rise up a new level of prosperity a new level of lifting a new level of wisdom and Jesus grew in wisdom in stature and in favor with God and with men as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives let a cloak of favor hit you where you are favor 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 every terminal disease in this place HIV cancer in the name of Jesus we terminate it once and for all be free in the name of Jesus be free in the name of Jesus SS AS we change your genotype in the realm of the spirit in the name of Jesus every demonic oppression that is responsible for where you are and where your family is tonight it is time for the new anointing guard up your loins and be ready every yoke of bondage surely must be broken I command every captivity over your family by the shed blood of Jesus Christ captivity ends in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I'm standing in the spirit before a gate and the Lord is telling me let God's people walk to it and move forward in their life I command you by the spirit and according to the vision of the Lord to me move forward go forward 
no more stagnation in ministry enter your place of anointing enter your place of rest enter it I place you inside it I take you into the mantle of your life the prophetic oil of your life I release it move forward go forward in the name of Jesus Christ and I speak to you every Egyptian you see today you are the one who knows the Egyptian so lift your hands with faith in your spirit everything called an Egyptian as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives once and for all bye bye to them forever bye bye to them forever in your family bye bye to them bye bye to them I release signs wonders I release miracles take it take it take it take it from the depth of my heart according to the order of grace take your miracle take your miracle take your miracle everything your hand touches from today in the name that is above all names I command it to multiply my brother stand here bring this lady come this is what I'm demonstrating to you what I saw in the spirit that God is connecting you to the people who will take you to the next level of your life may the Lord take you where your gift will be needed may the Lord take you where your gift I command demand upon your oil demand prophetic demand I command every uncompleted family project every uncompleted family project the Lord shows me the number 21 in the realm of the spirit and I pray that between now and the next 21 days I command angels of help I release it to your families receive it receive it help help is coming Zion's help the helper of Zion move across families move across families I tell you as surely as the Lord lives between today and the next 21 days you will see fearful testimonies by the hand of God hallelujah lift your hands I impart spiritual gift upon you at the count of seven let fresh fire fall upon everybody Every one, two, three. My God, do it. I see angels. Four, five, six. There it is. Come on. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Outside. Take it. Take it. Take it. In the name of Jesus. Take it. Take it. Take it. Fire. The prophetic. The apostolic. The evangelistic. Teaching mantles. 
pastoral graces, leadership, entrepreneurship. I fire it into your spirit. Everywhere you have been deserted so that no man goes through you. I call you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. In the name of the Lord Jesus, doors be open. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. Many of you don't know what breakthrough is. You just receive it. Breakthrough. I release it. Breakthrough. I release it. Breakthrough. I release it. Breakthrough. An angel stands in this row. Take it, breakthrough. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Right to the back. Take it, take it. Tonight, the Lord gives you a new name. Whatever you came here for, whatever request you brought, I command, go back with a testimony. Go back with a complete testimony. Whatever you came here with, go back with a testimony. In the name of Jesus. And every one of you who came from far and near to catch a fire and catch an anointing, go back with that fire. Go back and reproduce these things and even greater. Receive it. Receive it. Thank you, Jesus. Rabata Shalabakuria. Now, listen. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish. Listen to me, everybody, inside and outside. You're here and you've been struggling with your life. The Lord has been speaking to you. You know that now is the time to make it right with the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, Whosoever will come to me, I will in no wise cast away. He said, Come unto me, all ye that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Hallelujah. You've never made this decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Especially many of you outside. Tonight is your night. Jesus is calling you. Jesus is saying, How long? Will you run away when I have a better life for you? When I can save you from eternal condemnation and lead you to the path of grace? Or you've given your heart to the Lord, but you found yourself derailing. Please, as you hear my voice, do not harden your heart. Hallelujah. At the count of three, inside and outside, I want you to leave your seat and rush out here. The Lord is calling you. You've not given your heart to the Lord. Leave your seat. They are coming. I appreciate them. Right now, leave your seat. Come right to the front. Clap for them. They are coming. Thank you, Jesus. You need to make it right to the Lord. Come out. Or you've been born again once, but you've derailed. Don't stay outside. No matter how far you are, find your way to the front. Forget about your friend. Please run quick. Quick, quick, do it fast. Keep clapping, Koinonia. Thank you, Lord, for a harvest. Don't sit back. There are still more people outside. The Holy Ghost is speaking to you. Don't wrestle with him. Sister, brother, the time has come.
there are still more people I see outside. Keep coming. We'll wait for you for one minute. Keep coming. No matter what you've done, there is a fresh start. Celebrate them. The devil is a liar. He will not hold you back. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Hallelujah. Keep coming. Keep coming. You are welcome. Keep coming. Hallelujah. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for making this decision. Hallelujah. I'd like to pray for you. I'd like to lead you to Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter how far and how long you have gone. The Lord can give you a new start tonight. Are you listening to me? The Lord can give you a new start tonight. No matter how far you have gone. No matter how far you have gone. No matter how far you have gone. Lift your right hand to heaven. And say after me, Lord Jesus. Mean it from your heart. This is not a Bible recitation. Lord Jesus. I come before you. Acknowledging you as my savior. I believe you died for me. I believe you rose again for me. Today, I receive the gift of salvation. Come into my heart. Give me a new start. In the name of Jesus, I denounce sin. I denounce Satan. Make me a new person. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. From today, forward ever, backward never. The things I used to do, I'll do them no more. Because Jesus is Lord of my life. Father, I commend these ones to you. They have come out to make a genuine decision. Because they love you and they acknowledge you. My God, I pray that their salvation be genuine. And I pray that from today, you begin a walk in their lives. I command that you are free from every challenge you used to go through. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let peace return to your heart. Holy Spirit, I commend you to these ones. This is the assignment you have given on earth. I pray that you do great things in their life. In the name of Jesus. My brother, you are the one who drove me one time. The Lord will begin to do great things in your life and even in your family for this great decision you have made. In the name of Jesus appreciate them in Jesus name now in one minute I'd like you to follow the elder I said the elders follow the ushers hallelujah and they'll be able to have your details and will follow you up when sir Jakes Monday tomorrow tomorrow what time tomorrow 7 p.m. on the dot please be at chapel pastor Jakes will be following you up we we'll have foundational teachings that will bring to guide you and you'll be filled with the Holy Spirit. Ah, okay. The small ones, please, the very young ones, you're welcome. You can come by 4 p.m., all right, so that you are not roaming around 4 p.m. If you have to explain to your parents, please tell them you got born again. And if you need, if your parents want to talk to any of the ministers to confirm, no problem. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, follow the ushers. God bless you. Appreciate them. You're worshiping with us for the first time. This is your first time of attending this glorious meeting called Koinonia. I'd like you to leave your seat and jump out quickly. Quickly. Appreciate them. Come on, Koinonia. There are many people outside. We celebrate you. Come on. Koinonia celebrates you. Give them a big welcome. If there's anybody sitting close to you who is coming for the first time, ask the person to come out. We have a blessing for you. Keep clapping. Wow. Keep clapping. They are coming. Please hurry up. Hurry up. Make way for them. Ushers, direct them. Thank you. Keep coming. Thank you, mommy.
Keep coming, keep coming. There's still space for you. There's still space. We acknowledge you and we want to tell you thank you for coming. Hallelujah. This is Koinonia, put together by Eternity Network International. We thank God for what he's doing in our midst. How many of you were blessed tonight? I assure you, you will never be the same. You will go back and meet fearful testimonies. I assure you, you will know you met God tonight. In the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for coming. We love you. We truly celebrate you for making our time and the sacrifice to come here. Hallelujah. We are here every Friday building the word and helping us to understand the Holy Spirit and walk in partnership with him. We want to pray for you and prophesy upon you. Saints of God, stretch your hands upon them. Listen, we are anointed. So if we pray for you, believe it, it will happen in your life. Father, we pray that you bless them. Anoint everyone. May the Lord give you a testimony that will confirm that you met God tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord give you a testimony. Come out of her now. Out. Now. Out of her. Come out of her. Your testimony starts. Come out. Out of her now. now. Devil, come on. Out. Out of her. Come out of her. Shelakata barana kataya. Deke preteke barata kalande. Out. Out. Shataba kata kata balana kata. Grende ke presta kata la kadamana. You have oppressed her for too long. She came for koinonia. Thou devil of darkness. All right, your time is up. Go. Now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. That demon of lust, leave her. Now. Now. In Jesus' name. You're free. In Jesus' name. Pick her up. Sister, you have received a visitation from the Lord. For you would have gone back with the same problems you carried and brought here. But the Lord has visited you tonight. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Hallelujah. And for every one of you, don't you think we are playing when we are praying for you? We truly pray that you will go back with a testimony and an experience. That the things you used to do that are not consistent with the Lord, you will do them no more. Amen. Every bad relationship you came here with, we break it. Amen. You will go back, you won't find the other people again. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord connect you to destiny help us. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And every bondage of Satan, we set you free from it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. I'd like you to quickly follow the ushers. They'll have your details and we'll pray for you and follow you up. We are here every Friday. The Lord bless you. Keep coming and invite others in Jesus' name. Celebrate them and appreciate them as they go back. Let's take the following announcements very quickly and we're out of here. Press Bureau Consults Nigeria presents the Real Entrepreneurs Forum. Hallelujah. How to start and grow your business, how to raise capital, why most entrepreneurs fail, and so on and so forth. This is a business meeting. The facilitators are Mr. Femi Bolaji, the CEO of Intact Pharmaceuticals, Mr. Francis Yusuf, CEO Real Eagles Prince, and Mr. Victor Mataya, CEO Aspire Network. The date is tomorrow, 23rd of February. Saturday time is 9 p.m. The venue is Vet Multipurpose Hall. Watch out for the posters and please be there tomorrow, 9 a.m. in the morning. Hallelujah. This was put together by one of us. Please honor him and get blessed. Hallelujah. We are proud of this. Hallelujah. I think this is Isaac, right? That's Isaac. Hallelujah. We are proud to dedicate our new envelopes for mission and our school of ministry. Are you happy about that? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.
we've made envelopes for our school of ministry and we've made envelopes for missions so from today anytime you're coming for koinonia hallelujah as the lord blesses you and as the lord grants you grace come prepared not only to give your offering but we'll drop the envelopes you may not need to make any special call you have your seed whatever from this night to sow into the school of ministry these are arms of eni hallelujah the school of ministry is directed by bishop stan and the missions is directed by jakes hallelujah pastor jakes so i'd like you to be part of what god is doing hallelujah so every time you come from next week inside and outside we'll just drop the envelopes you have your tithe offering and then appropriately just put in your seed there and we'll pray on it and speak into your life i want to assure you that this house is fruitful ground hallelujah by the grace of god we are faithful with every money that comes and we use it for the reason why it was given we dedicate this in the name of the lord jesus christ father we thank you for what you are doing in this house we pray that everyone who will give for our school of ministry to raise and to train our students and to train generals in the spirit my god i pray that you will cause them to flourish and enjoy your blessings in the name of jesus and we pray for our mission so god as we visit hospitals prisons police centers mission fields and we supply welfare to many people my god i pray that whoever partners with this project will experience an open heavens we dedicate this it will only be used for the glory of the king no man will be glorified but jesus alone we dedicate it in jesus name god bless you hallelujah from after the service if you feel god is leaving you the em the envelopes don't go with them please you just come and we'll place them there and then you just drop your seed house on the rock foundation zaria presents tehila africa a crazy African praise. The date is 28th February. Time is 10.30 p.m. Venue is Charity and Faith Missions. Ministering will be Steve Strings and many more. Dress code strictly traditional. Hallelujah. This is announcement from our School of Ministry. The closing date for the submission of the forms for ENI School of Ministry is next week Friday. Please listen carefully. Next week, Friday, we'll be closing for all the prospective students. And now, the director has instructed that um, the fact that you have the form does not mean you, you are automatically a student. Hallelujah. And he said, you hold on with the school fees. We're going to go through um, a screening process and then we'll place the list. Am I right, sir? Bishop? Mm -hmm. Am I correct? Okay. And by the grace of God, the Lord has granted us grace to secure a venue. We'll be using God's time for our school of ministry. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. He granted it unto us free of charge. Absolutely free. Hallelujah. We thank God for it. Learn to celebrate what God is doing in the house. So please, the first of March, are there still forms? Okay, well, there are still forms. I understand that there are some of you, especially those who are from Kano and Mina. You can meet Bishop afterwards and you get it. And I know there was a pastor that told me he would be around. Please wait and collect it for yourself and your pastor. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. 
and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you